challenge that I that I encounter is being a black business owner in Fresno. I remember growing up in West Fresno where there were businesses that we saw. There were business owners that would take in young black boys and young black girls and teach them a trade. They would they would tell us stories of how to better ourselves. I mean, it is just dead there now. There's no life. You're given a, a, a dollar general here and there, and that really doesn't do much, especially for a community that is a food desert. That is a result of neglect by those who sit in the positions to provide infrastructure and all of the other amenities within a community that makes a community healthy, wholesome, and an enjoyable place to, to live. It was a struggle seeing myself represented in all parts of my community and in my immediate community. I didn't see business owners. I didn't see a lot of teachers. I didn't see a lot of um, public servants. I didn't see a lot of doctors. There is not a lot of black contractors within the Valley. My mother, who's an entrepreneur, who's a beautician, she paid her own bills and she made her own way. She doesn't have that safety net. After I got my doctorate coming back, there were very few job opportunities. With a doctorate, I was making $15 an hour. I was on Medi-Cal. I was on food stamps. It's the same old companies going over and over again that, that gets qualified for these projects. And I'm not asking for someone to just give it to me. I want to fight for it just as much as the other guys fight for it. So when we think of poverty and disenfranchisement, it's not just people who don't work or don't want to work. They're not asking for a hand-me-out, nor they're asking for a hand-me-down. They're literally asking for a hand <laughs> so that they can generate their own wealth. Not that the resources aren't available. We are not always included in conversations where the information is distributed. If one community is lacking, a whole city lacks, in my opinion.